Well, we first of all look at geography. We want to make sure that we include the entire valley since it's so big. Ashley Deal is the editor of Phoenix Magazine. She and her staff wanted to make sure the latest issue featured 25 pools that fit everyone's needs. So we want to appeal to the people who want a party pool. We want to get the family pools in there. One pool to make that list, the Weston Kierlin Resort and Spa in Scottsdale. Guests can take advantage of the water slide or the lazy river. Every half hour, every 15 minutes, there's things just for the fun of it. Activities, games, random things happening, plus uh, unique events to us. Uh, scuba, aqua tots, uh, our game truck, our race zone, which is where you design, build, and race your own remote control cars. Joshua Reif is the resort's director of fun. Besides tons of activities for the kids to enjoy, the adults have a pool for a little R&R, and there's even drink and food deals at the J. Swillings Pool Bar and Grill. It's a great deal. The atmosphere you're not going to find anywhere else. Next up, the Point Hilton Squaw Peak Resort. It's whole in the wall river ranch pool also comes complete with a waterfall, a water slide, and a lazy river. We have diamond movies, obviously. We have pool, pool activities. We have just tons of crafts and arts and games. Effie Moore is with the resort. She says there are all kinds of great deals for guests to dip into this summer. It's $59 a day and it gets you a suite from in the morning until 5 p.m., I believe. So you can come in, check in, you get four passes to the river ranch. And for those who just want to go for a day swim, it's open to the public. The price, $15 per person and free for children under 42 inches tall. Another pool you might want to be seen at this summer, according to the magazine, the Oasis at the Clarendon Hotel. It's located in central Phoenix and comes with a 60-foot waterfall along with its 50-person jacuzzi. People can start the day out at the pool and they can end up going up to the rooftop and watching the sunset and finishing off the perfect day. Owner Ben Bethel says another great feature, the pool is open to the public. Uh, the pool's open daily from 6 a.m. till midnight, free of charge, no use fee, and uh, anybody can come by. In a car, you're usually on a mission. You're going from point A to point B. You know, on a motorcycle, we are the entire ride. The entire route and destination is really what we're about. Barry Caraway is the founder of CycleRides.com, a website that provides motorcycle enthusiasts a place to find out about local and out-of-state rides. I thought those were five of the, of the uh, premier uh, rides in the state. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a fairly big state, but there are uh, some of the rides are better than others. Phoenix Magazine showcases five of the state's most scenic motorcycle trails in their upcoming issue. One of those, Flagstaff to Sedona, traveling down the 89A Highway. The excitement builds as you're coming down and serpentining all the way down from Flagstaff on 89A into Sedona, you'll have the stream on your right side. You'll go through some aspens. You might see some color changes. You might see some leaves budding. Then you uh, make your way from the tall pines into this huge expanse of red rock. It is the most beautiful ride coming down through there because your senses are tickled in a lot of different ways. But the scenery isn't the only thing this ride has to offer. There are all kinds of attractions from Slide Rock State Park to great shops and restaurants in Sedona. And what about all the people you'll meet along the way? There are some characters out there that, that, that lighten up the whole trip sometimes, you know. And, and when you meet these guys, they're your friends for life. Looking for fewer tourists and more history? Well, check out Kingman to Oatman via Route 66. It's going through the Sitgreaves Pass. It's going through some high desert, some brief pine. And all as you're serpentining through this area, you're going through a mining area. So you've got plenty of places to stop, plenty of photo opportunities. There's plenty of pull-offs. And then at the end, you hit the old town of Oatman, and that is that is cool. From roaming burrows to the historic Oatman Hotel, where the likes of actor Clark Gable stayed, the destination is well worth the trip. In a down economy like we've got right now, you put seven, eight dollars worth of gas in your gas tank, you're good for 200 miles. And there is nowhere for eight dollars you can get the kind of entertainment that you can get riding a motorcycle through Sedona, Flagstaff, Jerome, Oatman.
nearly 30 years, veteran reporter Mike Watkiss has prowled the streets of America and points around the world, covering the cops and robbers beat. Anything you can tell us, sir? OJ, anything you can tell us? How you doing? Get out of my... Mr. Nichols, anything to say? Did you, did you know any? My name is Mike Watkiss. I'm a reporter here in I, Phoenix. I know who you are, sir. Do you? You, you say it's... it's uh, I we walked down the other pole of the story. Hey, don't, no, don't break my camera. Well, just, you can run, but you can't hide. Now, Watkiss teams up with veteran Phoenix Police Sergeant Paul Pinzone, coordinator of the Valley's Silent Witness Program. You can look at Silent Witness right now as the tip of the spear. On the trail of the Valley's Most Wanted.